see the kicker out there. Um, you know, just went Sam, blank. Sam, Sam Ryan. And yep. Didn't think he was going to have a chance to play football with the injuries he's had in the past. But Sammy's out there, and he approaches the ball, and we are underway. A nice high end over end kick is going to be taken back deep at uh, the 10 yard line, turning up field. Balloon threads down the sideline and will uh, line up with split backs in the backfield. Two tight ends up on the line. Albright, the lone wide out left. Stover under center. Barks out the signals and will hand it off. And here's a little counter play inside and a nice gain up the middle for uh, number three guys to bring that big guy down. Redfield on second and three will go to the eye. Stover stays under center with Albright left. And here's the handoff to the tailback. And that is good for a first down. And I believe that again is Landon Rolfs, the wide left. And Stover will get under center. Eye set behind him. And a long snap count here on first and ten. And here is the give again to Rolfs off the left side of the line. And he's got some room. Pass midfield, the 40, 35, 30, towards the sideline. And he'll be run out of bounds at the 22-yard line. But a big pickup for Landon Rolfs there. Again, two tight ends on the line and back split in the backfield. Stover will take the snap. Here's a little counter left. That will go to Jake Balloon. He will get down to about the 20-yard line, about another four-yard right. pickup. You know. All right, wide right. Again, an eye formation in the backfield. Stover stays under center. Ron Colley creeping up a couple of backs, and now there's some movement up on the line, and a flag will fly. And there might have been a little bit of an Albright wide right, two tight ends on the line. Stover gets under center on second and short, and here is the snap. The give will go to the tailback. That is Rolf spread out wide, but he turns the corner past the 15 and gets knocked down there. Good tackle coming up by Braden McNary. Mm -hmm. uh, that time, Rolf spread it out. I think he does have enough for the first down, but couldn't turn the corner and get it north-south. And I think that you're going to have to see that quite a bit with, uh, you know, Braden and... Uh and there is a long count, and again, the give goes to Rolfs, and he gets down inside the 10-yard line. Will be brought down at about this... I set behind Kyle Stover, the quarterback. Stover will take the snap, and again, the give will come left. That goes to Rolfs, and he gets brought down. A nice job by Lucas Lorenz to fight off a block. Here you got to look for uh, Ephraim on the outside. Full house backfield, three back set, and here is a fake give in. Stover's going to keep the ball, and will get down inside the five yards. A yard short, it's fourth and one at the Ron Colley four-yard line, and Redfield will line up and go for it on fourth down inside the Cavalier five. Here's the snap and the give, and he's wrapped up, but he gets, fights through and gets in for the score, and that was Landon Rolfs the, who uh, took the snap under center. Was And now the Pheasants will go for two, and here is the... Snap and the give, and it goes nowhere. The two-point conversion fails. It looked like it was a give. 68 yards. He has it teed up at the 40 and will approach the football. Here's a high, short, end-over-end kick. That's going to be ta taken by Dalton Cox, 26-yard line. Pass the 35, 40. He might be gone. Pass midfield. The 40. Cox at the 30. The 20. The 15. The 10. Albrecht will grab him at the goal line, and it's going to push him out of bounds at the one-yard line. You know, I, I like the strategy coach is, is thinking. I When he kicked that, I'm thinking he's, it's going to go to an up end and they'll down it. Well, it, got, it went to a running back, and Dalton's going to look for that hole. First series of the season. Zach Lundquist back at quarterback. In the backfield with him, Braden Hilton, Dalton Cox, and Lane Holzer, all seniors. I formation with Lundquist oh, under guys. center. We've got a flag. Right from the get-go, and it looks like an illegal procedure call coming against wow. Ron Colley. I don't know if somebody moved or if there was too much time, but we're going to get the call. Cavs line up with a single wing set. Wide right is Zach Schaefbauer, and Zach Lundquist gets up and under center. Here's the pitch. It comes back to Dalton Cox, turns it upfield, puts the shoulder down, and Cox will get back inside and a goal from the three. Double wing formations. Lundquist stays under center. In motion is Holzer. They're going to pitch it back to him, and Holzer turns up field, but cannot get much traction, and looks like he's going to be stopped for no... Sideline to sideline. Lundquist all alone in the backfield will look to throw and will roll to his right. Puts it up wide open in the yeah. end zone is Braden yeah. Hilton with a touchdown. And uh, Braden Hilton just floats. Zach Lundquist had good time, good vision, and will hook up with a three-yard touchdown pass to Braden Hilton. Going to come, I think, from Braden Hilton. Not sure of that, but uh, we will see here as I can't see the number, but Ron Colley will line up for the kick. The snap, a uh, good one. It's up. And Cox's kick right. is up and in. And so Aberdeen Ron Colley and Oldham Construction on the teed up kick. Cox will kick this one off. And again, back deep are Albright and Jake Balloon. 
Cox gets the signal and approaches the football. And it's another high end over end kick. This one will mm. bounce and will get through. Yeah. Albright's going to run it down back at the five yard line. He uh, looking to go You're somewhere, well nowhere to go, and is going to be brought down at about the three yard line. Yeah, the, the up man made a mistake there. He's got to make a commitment to get up, get underneath that. And he, you know, he plays. Signals laminated for pro forever. Here is uh, the give now uh, inside for Redfield Dolan. They're going to run it, of course. And the give goes, I think it was, to uh, the Redfield Dolan. Two-yard line is what they show up on the board as Redfield pinned back deep after that muffed kick. And here is the throw, and Stover absolutely leveled as he lets it go. And Albright had his hands on it. The floating duck was up there. Albright yeah. had it. But Albright will split wide left, and the backs will split behind Stover, who works from under center. Long count, and here is the give, and it goes left, and it's coughed up. Rolfs had it, lost it, but I think he fell on top of it, but now oh Ron boy. Colley says they have it. The ball squirted loose as Rolfs got into the uh, secondary, and coming up with it underneath is Dalton Cox, and I have yet to see the advantage of one big break here tonight. We'll see if they can do it again. Trips left, Zach Lundquist looks to throw, fires oh. it, and short hops it to Cox. Incomplete. Tyson Mitchell, the guards, Austin Mogg, and Zach Andera, the tackles. Double wing formation, Lundquist oh. under center, and now a flag from the backfield, and looks like we're going to have another illegal procedure call here against Ron Colley. Well, so. Double wing formation, Lundquist under center. In motion comes Lane Holzer, and the fake give to him. Lundquist will roll to his right, puts it up in the air, and uh, throws it away as the receiver downfield. They'll have four receivers, trips to the left, and wide right is Braden McNary. Lundquist out of the shotgun takes the snap. We'll fire it up the middle, wide open is Lane Holzer, and he's in for the score. And Holzer that time, I think, was surprised to see himself that wide open look, almost stopped, and then went in for the score. Well, the one thing I saw is they didn't bring their defensive backs over to cover all three of them. They're, they were one short. Or Dalton Cox, or excuse me, Colton Cox. Colton, yes. <laughs> and here is the snap. It's a little bit low, and the snap trying to come back with it. Break. What you can do about it. Colton Cox will again kick it away. Albright. And Jake Balloon back deep. Here is the kick. It's high and over end, and it's Albright taking it at the 20-yard line. Cuts to the near sideline, 25, 30, still on his feet, dancing around 35, and run out of bounds at about Ooh. the 40-yard line. That is a nice return by Ephraim Albright. To put Landon, one of the linebackers, set him down. Do two tight ends set, and uh, here is a little misdirection inside as they try to run a little counter play with Tyler Massett, the uh, tight end, and Massett, Redfield, Dolan, 13-6. Out of the shotgun, inverted wishbone here with Stover taking the snap. And here is the snap. They're going to give it off to Landon Rolfs, and he's going to be run down from behind by Zach Andera. A nice I saw in their pre in their pregame that they had Ephraim go down and inside. Wide outs each side, inverted wishbone again with... Stover out of the short pistol formation. Here is the snap. Stover with time will put it up and has it complete nice. to Ephraim Albrecht. And a beautiful catch. It goes 18 yards. Enough for a left is Sully Massett, I believe, as the wideout. Again, pistol formation shotgun here for Redfield oh, Dolan. Oh, oh. And here is the snap. And it's going to be going to Rolfs off the right tackle. And he's going to get out to about a two tight end set here for the Pheasants. Stover under center will give it off to the first option, and that looked like uh, Landon Rolfs. Rolfs has been the workhorse here in the early going of this football game. Same formation, back split, Stover under center, two tight ends. Long snap count on first and ten, and here it is. The pitch will come back off. That is Rolfs with it, and he's going to get brought down by Cox mm. at the 30-yard line, a gain of about right splits wide near side, and split backs in the backfield. Stover will take the snap. The give goes to... Rolfs, I believe, it's going to be enough for a first down, down to the 20-yard line. Wide left, Albright. Split backs, Stover under center, two tight ends on the line. And here is the snap, and Stover looking to throw is going to go for Albright. Cutting towards the corner is there. Did he pull it down? He did not. One-on-one -on -one coverage over there, Braden. Albright again wide to the left. Same set with two tight ends on the line and split backs in the backfield. Ron Colley sneaking up, and here is a whistle beforehand. Shotgun snap, empty backfield. Nope, excuse me, Stover under center. The lone setback, Rolfs gets the pitch back, turns it upfield, and will get back the penalty yardage. He's back to the 20. Now the ball is loose. Uh, the referee, though, says the ground caused it and blew it dead. From the Ron Colley 20, when we return after one quarter long, the uh, 
Pheasants will line up strong left. Stover under center. Man in motion goes right. And Stover looks to throw. Here's a little bit of a counter to Albright. Slips free of one tackle. Still on his feet, but is going to get brought down. A loss of about five. And that time, the, the play took so long to develop. The mm -hmm. Cavaliers have a problem with this, especially with the players you got, the size you got. And the position on the field. Fourth and 15. Stover under center will drop back to throw. Quick pass through the middle. Oh, and that was nearly a completed play to so, uh, it Tyson. Ty really helped their, their cause. Ron Colley will come out with a uh, single wing eye formation. Let Zach Lundquist under center will keep it and will dive ahead for three yards on the QB keeper. As uh, Ron Colley, that's the same formation now for the Cavaliers. Wide near side is Zach Schaefbauer. Single wing eye up on the line. And Lundquist will hand it off to the tailback. That is uh, Dalton Cox, who doesn't get much, maybe a yard or two out of it. Mm. And Colley now will line up wide out to each side. Lundquist flanked by two backs in the backfield out of the shotgun. Here's the snap, looking to his right. Passes wide open to McNary. Little hook and lateral, and McNary pitches it off. On the way, running downfield. Dalton Cox gets free of a tackle. In at the Redfield 30, 25, <laughs> on his feet, brought down at the 20-yard line. And that is a big play. It goes for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 yards on the door. Four wideouts to each side. Here's the give inside. Nice hole up the middle. And about a four-yard gain there for Ron Colley. We'll see who the ball carrier is. Ron Colley lining it up wide near side is Danny Gallagher. I formation. Here is a little misdirection. They give it off to Lane Holzer. That play took a long time to develop, and he takes a hit as he gets back to about the line of scrimmage. Yeah. And that play just took two. Teen. Trips right. McNary wide left, and Lundquist back to throw out of the shotgun, throws it over the middle, and it's broken up, nearly mm. picked off by Ephraim Albright. And that time intended for Dalton Cox for it. Double wing formation in motion, Cox to the near side. Lundquist under center, will roll to his right, looks, fires it, complete to Cox at the five-yard line, and he'll be brought down at the two in a gutty fourth down call. And on the line now, will line it up, power eye formation, Lundquist under center. Dalton Cox, the tailback, two blocking backs ahead of him. Dalton gets the give and will get it up the middle and is in for the score. Dalton Cox, a two-yard touchdown run with single back. In the backfield, I believe, is Hilton. Now Holzer will come in motion near side. Lundquist is going to look to throw. Rolls to his right. Puts it up and a nice grab. Nice catch. Thrown just behind but grabbed at the hip. And they're going to call him short of the goal line. What? The grab made by Braden Hilton. And they're going to say oh. he was run. Redfield Energy LLC is as they try to uh, close this gap back to a one-score game. Colton Cox has it teed up, ready to boot it away. Albright and Jake Balloon back deep to receive for the Pheasants. And here is the kick. It's a short end-over-end kick taken by an up man. That, I believe, is Tyler Massett. And Massett will put his head down, roll past the 35-yard line out to about the 38 for split in the backfield, two tight ends up on the line. Kyle Stover will take the snap and will give it off to Landon Rolfs once again past the 40. Here's a flag. This one's going to come back in that vicinity of holding. Rolfs will get it out to a first down at about the 49, but I think it's going to go backwards. Ice backers up. Pistol formation. Ball back at the 29-yard line after the penalty. Here's the snap and the give up the middle, and that goes to Rolfs, and I think the ball is coughed up. Ron Colley has the football. And we'll see if they do give it to him. Indeed, they do. Coming up with the football, Tyson Mitchell. And that was just Good the hit. initial in Redfield Dolan territory for the third time tonight to start a drive. Double wing formation. Single wide out near side in motion goes Lane Holzer. Lundquist back to throw is going to put it up from McNary. No. And angles it off towards the corner and the pass is incomplete. Pass here. The lineup trips left, tightly bunched. Lundquist from the shotgun. And here's a quick swing pass wide left. Re that goes to screen. Dalton Cox. He's got room. He's got a first down in the 10. The 5 will dive in. And is it a touchdown? <laughs> it is. And the Cavaliers will put it up on the board again. A quick swing pass to Dalton Cox. And that one goes 25 yards. The opposite end of the field that uh, first half of play. Braden Hilton to hold for Colton Cox as the Cavs will try another point after kick to try to increase this lead to 20. The snap is a little low. Colt Hilton does a good job to get it down, but again, threw the timing off just enough. And the point after... Yep. Uh, why don't you fumbles mm -hmm. caused by the Ron Colley defense have uh, set the Cavs up in some perfect position. And again, a long time to go here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is no reason to put it on Cruz because Redfield Doland certainly has a lot of time left to come back here. Here is Dalton Cox, or Colton Cox rather, with the kick. It angles off to the near sideline, picked up by Massett. He grabs it, tries to return, gets ahead for a couple yards out to about the 30, but that is it. And here is the uh, handoff inside. It goes nowhere, lost for maybe a uh, 
yard. In motion, goes Sully Massett to the right, and now Stover, the snap, runs into his backfield, and now the screen pass completed out to Rolfs. He's got room. He's at the 45 and is going to get brought down at the 48-yard line. Got Anthony and Dara in at the right defensive end. Two tight end set. Here is the give. Little counter inside, and I believe that one the yard line. Stover will get under center, split backs. Ron Colley creeping up. Hard snap count. Here is the give inside. That goes to Rolfs, and wow. he's going to be brought down. The tailback, Landon Rolfs. Stover under center on fourth and two. Here's the snap. The give off to Rolfs. Wrapped up, wow. but again, runs through it. And that Stover takes the snap, will roll right, pitch back, comes back to Balloon, and he's going to get ahead for a yard or two. Nice stop there by Dalton Cox. Near side, two tight ends on the line. Strong run formation. Kyle Stover the snap. And here's the give to Balloon in the backfield. Or excuse me, that's Jeez. Rolfs. Rolfs again hits that. two or three times. Gets back. Pistol formation. Three backs in the backfield. And Stover, a long snap count, will take it. Will look to throw. Swing pass comes out to Rolfs. And he's wrapped up immediately. A good job there by Anthony Andera to wrap mm -hmm. up Rolfs. It's Braden Hilton back to receive for Ron Colley. Not 100% on that. Snap is a good one. And here's a high spiraling kick. That is Braden McNary, excuse me, who will field it at the 20-yard line. Turns it upfield, and there is a the flag. flag on the play. And uh, the Boy. ball return out to the 36-yard line, but I think... Size, you got to have those things checked, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a timeout now called by Redfield with a minute 51 to go. Will yard line, shotgun formation. Here is Lundquist back to throw and looking downfield. Intended receiver is Holzer, and the pass just over his... Outstretched arms incomplete. Redfield had it defended well with two backs back there. Holly, uh, the hold call. Four receivers set now. Second down to each side of the line. Single set back and Lundquist under center. Give goes up the middle. And the running back, I'm not sure who that is. As it's over on the far side. But um, better product, better installation, better warranty. ABC Seamless. Here is third and or second and long, excuse me, Ron Colley. Uh, the backfield out of the eye. Zach Lundquist will work under center. And here is the snap and the give to Dalton Cox up the middle. And Dalton ahead for a couple. That's about it. And uh, the clock stops at 37 and a half seconds to go now. We will uh, take a quick break here as uh, Ron Colley will have to punt. We do have some scores to pass here. You how the snap. It all starts with the snap. First punt of the night. Dalton Cox is on with the injury to Lucas Lorenz. And Cox gets a low snap but fields it nicely and will get off a nice kick. That's going to send Albright back to the 35-yard line. It rolls. The ball's still loose, and Albright now will run it down and uh, gets free of a tackle. He turns it upfield 30, 35, 40, cuts back, and is going to get off of a couple of uh, tacklers. Finally, the Cavaliers wrangling oh, down boy. at the 46-yard line. And we've 54. That's okay. what I thought. Okay. Austin Mogg is listed number 54 at any rate as we try to oh. figure it out. There, Teen back at the 41-yard line. Under 20 seconds to go. Back to throw. Stover is going to fire it over near side intended for Albright, mm -hmm. but thrown behind him incomplete. In inbounds, if, if at all possible. Under center, here's Stover back to throw again, and he's going to air it up down the sideline, and the pass fucking away from two defenders. Albright snags it in and will take it in for the score. And that time it looked like Ron Colley had it defended. Oh. Pheasants line up for two. Stover will pitch it back. The ball goes to Rolfs, who will uh, turn the corner, fights off a nice stiff arm, and gets his way into the side of the uh, end zone. The Pheasants will kick it away, and uh, I'm sure the Cavaliers will down it and try to just uh, regroup. Ron Colley will have the football to start the second half, but we'll see if the uh, Pheasants try anything here. The kick from the 40 is a low line drive, and it's going to be uh, no, he's down. He's fielded. Down. At the 15-yard uh, line, but uh, Braden Hilton went down to his knee to mm -hmm. get the ball, and you're automatically down then. So Ron Colley with six point clock, and Ron Colley looks like they're going to play play it safe here, way back deep. Dalton Cox standing at the goal line. Lundquist will take the snap, will take a knee, and that will run out. The Thomas Harbert wants to get you back. Uh, Braden McNary, I believe, or excuse me, that's Lane Holzer and Braden McNary back deep for the Cavaliers. Kicking it away, Car Carter Clappridge for Redfield, the left-footed kicker, will put it up, and the ball will be taken as uh, it will skip through 
and will uh, be picked up at the one yard line by Braden Hilton. Hilton pops free, now gets away. He's at the 20 yard line. He's got room 30, 40, 45, 50. He's in Redfield territory, 40, oh. and brought down at the 35 yard line. <laughs> that went from oh no to oh my goodness. Braden Hilton, I thought, was not going to get anywhere. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he reached six. Ron Colley, first and 10 in Redfield territory once again to start the drive. I formation. Pitch will come back to Dalton Cox, turns it up, has a little hole, and will dive past the 35 to formation. Out of the gun, Schaefbauer, and I believe it's Hilton wide to the left. Two backs in the backfield. Lundquist will take the snap. And, excuse me, the give to Hilton. He's got room off the left side. A first down, down inside the 25-yard line. The ball pops loose, but they're going to call him down at the 21-yard line. A pickup of uh, Tristan 10 now at the Redfield Dolan 23. Lundquist again from the shotgun. will give it off inside to Cox. Not much there as, again, Redfield's defensive line really can Van Gallagher and... Uh, I believe it's uh, Schaefbauer, and here is Lundquist floating now to his left. He's going to put it up, looks to the end zone, and there oh. was some contact in the end zone, Ooh. and the ref 33. Zach Lundquist from the shotgun, two receivers near side. Now Cox in motion will get the handoff, and Cox thought about the uh, halfback option the way it looked, and then uh, he's going to instead tuck it away and go near Cavaliers, eh, maybe a little confusion as they break the huddle. Schaefbauer goes wide left. Double wing formation. McNary gets over on the line now. Mm, oh, nice. boy, confusion everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're going to have to take a timeout here. Terry Dosh calls out. Pearson Ford in the Auto Plaza. See PearsonFord.com. All right, fourth and 11, Ron Colley at the Redfield Dolan 24. Lundquist under center. In motion goes Lane Holzer. Pitch back to Holzer, and it looks like a Cavalier special. Back to Lundquist. He's got time. He puts it up in the air. Open in the end zone. Going up to get it. The great defensive play by Redfield to knock that ball away at the last minute. That was a good defensive, defensive back. Back at here. Landon Rolfs, 96 first half yards in the backfield with Jake Balloon. Stover the snap, and the give goes to uh, Rolfs, and he's got room. A first down. He's at the 45. He's at midfield and tripped up at the Ron Colley 48-yard line. A big gain of 10. We'll line it up now first and 10 in Ron Colley territory. Split back, Stover under center from Albright wide right, and here's the quick hitter inside, and that one will go to... Uh, Landon Rolfs, nope, that's Balloon. Jake Balloon, the ball keeps will split in the backfield. Here's the snap, and the give goes to Rolfs. He's tripped up, but uh, stumbles his way ahead for about four more yards down to the 41-yard line. Hit behind the line of scrimmage, but again, kept his momentum moving forward. 59-yard TD pass, and the Pheasants now trying to get back within a couple points here. Stover under center, same formation, two tight ends up on the line. Long snap count. Here's the give. It goes to Rolfs. He's got a first down, powering his way down to about the 36-yard line. And kind of a staggered backfield. Stover will stay under center. Albright wide near side this time. Two tight ends stay up on the line. Here is the give to the tailback, Rolfs. And uh, again, Boy. it looks like he stopped, and all of a sudden he comes out. Balloon and Rolfs in the backfield, two tight ends on the line. Stover under center. Long count again, and here is the snap, and it's off to Rolfs, who again has a first down. Held up at the 25-yard line, but he's good right now for four or five yards of carry. Split back, same set. Redfield, nothing fancy. Two tight ends on the line, two backs in the backfield, one wide receiver. And here is a quick rollout by Stover, who is going to be brought down immediately. Great surge off crawl within three to five points. Out of the shotgun this time. Stover takes a snap and rolls left, turns it upfield. And will put his head down, gets ahead for positive yards, about a four. Stover will get under center. Third and five at the Ron Colley 20. Here's the snap, and Stover looking to throw is going to go for Albright. And the ball is up and caught, and is in for the score. Touchdown. And that time it was a little kind of a Z route that Albright took Hilton in, and then conversion. Here's the snap, and running right is... Uh, the quarterback, Stover, and excuse me, I think Balloon was under, got another return out to the 25-yard line of Redfield Dolan and scored. So, again, Cavaliers hoping to make a big play here on special teams. Kick is a low-line drive. It's going to be taken by the up man. That's Cox again at the 30-yard line, 35, on his feet at the 40, and will be brought down at the 42, but good field mm -hmm. position right here. Good field. TD passes in that first half. Single wing eye set, Lundquist under center, and a whistle before the snap, and uh, I think we might have a... ...going to be miserable. Isn't it time to find out? Mm -hmm. Is it a point in our Fake Cavalier Ever special, Cox. Dalton Cox down the sideline, a fake Cavalier special, and he's going to take it in for the score. 58-yard drive. That time the Cavaliers...
faked the cap downfield that he had. The they are one of three on the night. This time the snap Jeez. breaks down. Braden Hilton is going to be uh, you got to tackle him. And uh, down on the field, and making the score 31-20. 4.54 to play third quarter. A lot of time left in this football game. Offenses have ruled here tonight. Colton Cox will boot it away. It's a high, short, end over end kick taken by Albright at the 15 yard line. He's got a block ahead of him, slips free of one, now gets out of another tackle. He's at the 35 40, still on his feet, but finally wrestled down at the 46 yard line, slipped four or five tackles there, Very and finally bringing tackle. him down. Jerseys and pants. Same formation here that Redfield's run tonight. Their base set, handoff to Landon Rolfs up the middle, and he's going to get ahead for a yard or two. A flag flies in late in the vicinity. Man front. Strong left formation, in motion goes Sully Massett to the right. Stover looking to throw, now will hand it off to Albright. He'll turn it up the middle and has some room. He's at the 40 and brought down at the 45 yard line. Good hard hit, a gain of about nine. for Wander out to the right of the line. Two tight ends up on the line, split backs in the backfield. Stover will get under center. Long oh, count and sure? they'll take the snap and uh, here is uh, Balloon with the carry. He's going to get down to the uh, Ron Colley, 40 backs in the backfield, two tight ends on the line, Albright wide right. Stover under center. Ron Colley, five down linemen up front. And here's the snap, and here's there movement. There I think you got it this time. And we'll see staggered backs in the backfield this time. Stover under center. And here is the snap. They fake the pitch to Rolfs, and now they're going to put it out left, and the ball knocked away by Dalton Cox, a flag late ball game. Stover out of the pistol set, three backs in the backfield, two wideouts, one each side of the line. Stover a long Ooh. count, and again, looked like movement, but uh, they will blow it dead. A late, yeah. late whistle because it, I think everybody in the crowd was waiting for the yeah. flag to come, and then they, they did blow the play dead. as it There who's got the wheels and the ability to catch the ball. Wide out to each side, Albright wide right, and uh, split backs in the backfield, Stover under center, will give it off, and there's a quick hitter to Rolfs, who will rumble ahead out to the 40-yard line again. There he is the uh, receiver. Make, it, make sure he punts it, not snap to the up man. And Ron Colley uh, paying attention to the gunners. Here's a quick little kick, and it's going to take a high bounce, and McNary will go to the ground and will mm. cover it up back at the 27-yard line. Now line it up first and 10. Lundquist out of the shotgun. Two backs in the backfield, two wideouts left of the line. Here's the snap and the give is a nice hole up the middle and a nice run for Hilton. He's got a first down and still on his feet. 40-yard line. He's at the 50. The Redfield 45-40 and finally run down at the 36-yard nice line. Nice run. Brayton Hilton's run with more of a purpose and really mm -hmm. has exploded here in this second half. You know, here in this second half thanks to a couple of long runs. Lundquist from the shotgun. Same set opposite side and here's the give inside to Dalton Coxon. He's got some room. Mm. Ahead, uh, that time looked like kind of a bobbled exchange between third quarter. Lundquist again from the shotgun. Two wideouts near side. Snap is low. Quick uh, pass out to the right is complete to Holzer. And Holzer gets back to about the original line of scrimmage head inside the Redfield Dolan 30. 31-20, your score. Ron Colley leading Redfield Dolan back with your... Lundquist from the shotgun, two wideouts near side, two backs in the backfield. Here's the snap, and it's a good give. And inside, a first down for Braden Hilton, and he's going to be near a first down. Hilton uh, again going. Anybody, it's a hot and muggy night. Double wing set now for the Cavs, one wide out right. Cox goes in motion to the right. And here's the give, and it's on the ground, and Redfield Dolan recovers. That's what I was worried about. Two backs in the backfield, Jake Balloon and Landon Rolfs. Long snap count by Kyle Stover, the quarterback. Stover looking to throw and will swing it out left. And the play broken up nicely over there by Lane Holt in the run game for certain. Split backs again. Stover will get under center and again looking to throw. Stover will put it up in the air and Albright had it oh. and lost it. Boy, that was oh. a beautifully thrown ball between oh, yes. the two to stagger the backfield now. Stover will get under center and it looks like there's some confusion now. I formation, but it doesn't look like uh, the backs are real certain. Here is the snap, and here is the quick pass, and it's intended for Sol uh, Tyler mm. Massett again, and that one. Release, free release. McNary and Holzer back deep. The snap is a good one, and here's a short end over end kick. It's going to take a Redfield Dolan bounce, and Ron Colley will let it roll dead, and it will stop right down. The quist will get under center. Single wing eye formation, cocks the tail back. And he'll get the pitch. We'll uh, cut it back upfield, and boy, Dalton, nowhere to go, and here's a flag for touchdown. Ron Colley now will go trips near side. Lundquist from the shotgun with a back 
on his right hip. And here is the give. It goes inside to the running back staying Dang. home. I think that was Dalton Cox. Actually, four receivers, uh, three receivers right wide near side, I believe, is McNeary. And Hilton stays in the backfield. They're going to give it to him. And Hilton will turn the corner. 25, 30. He's got room 40, 45. First down at the 50. And Boy. the whistle blows. And we're going, attriculating down the field. The uh, Cavaliers out of the shotgun again, and they're going to give it to Hilton. Spins at the line and is going to be brought down for a loss slowly. Both teams trying to make the most of their possessions. And now Dalton Cox set to kick it away. Long snap count here, and the snap is a little low, but Cox a good job to field it and gets off a of beauty. High spiraling kick. Albright will field it at the 18-yard line. Bobbles it. Now comes back with it. 25-30 and is going to be wrestled down right at the 30-yard mm. line. I believe is uh, Brady Miles at a receiver spot. I formation behind Stover, who works from under center. And here's the give to the tailback, Landon Rolfs. And he gets into the second level quickly. A rumble down to the 30. I formation the set behind Kyle Stover, and Stover now drops to throw. Three-step drop will swing it out to Albright, wide near side, shy of midfield, gets free Jeez. of a tackler, and uh, kind of tiptoes his way to a first down. And now it'll start back up. Pheasants will stick with the same set. One wide out each way. I formation, and Landon Rolfs, the uh, run, uh, gets ahead for about three mate wide left. I formation with, again, the tailback, uh, Landon Rolfs, and looking to throw a pass intended for Albright as he goes up for it and uh, pass just thrown behind him, McNeary, four-yard line. Staggered backs in the backfield. Stover will take the snap, runs along the line. Option pitch back goes to Rolfs. He'll turn it upfield, pass the 40, first down, 35, and down to the 33-yard line. And a... Looks like Braden McNeary is hurt out there on the run. Again, the chains move, and the Pheasants will get up to the line of scrimmage quickly. Down to six and a half minutes to go. First and ten at the Cavalier 34. Looking to throw it. Stolen and tipped away and picked off. And with the football is Dalton Cox, and nobody's going to catch him this time. Cox will come up with it from the defensive end spot. I don't know if Stover's hand was hit or I, what happened, but it was just a short little duck that Cox took and ran for the score. I think that's what happened, Scott, because when it left his hand, the ball wobbled. So... I think either the point after kick coming now on the attempt here for Ron Colley and Jeez. the snap all the way through Just Braden fall Hilton on it. Fall and on uh, it. Colton Cox will uh, try to shuffle it away and uh, score for Ron Colley to make it this three possession game with this much left. Here's a short end over end kick. It's going to bounce and uh, be scooped up at the 25 yard line by Albright. He's going to uh, get wrapped up and brought down at the 20. Eight yard line, and again, they were trying to keep it away from Ephraim, I believe. Mm -hmm. But Redfield Dolan, two tight ends, one back, and two wide outs. A bit of a different look here out of first and ten. And here's the pass, and it's intended for Albright. Sales about five. Stover under center. Rolfs, the lone setback. Two tight ends on the line, and, and uh, two wide outs. And here is the pass. It is complete. And boy, a nice. great tackle there by Braden Hilton. On Ron Colley, 48 now, Matt, uh, back to throw his Stover, and he slips as he lets it go, but gets it complete to Albright. Keep Albright him. wrapped up and uh, stopped back in in five. Stover again will get up to the line quickly, and will drop to throw. Three-step drop, looks downfield, and it's complete. Oh, and oh. dropped by Miles. Oh. Brady Miles had beaten the defender, Danny Gallagher, who had... The uh, Pheasants will line it back up, wide outs each side. Two tight ends on the line, and again, Stover, three-step drop, looks for uh, Albright, and the pass high and incomplete. And Landon Rolfs to the lone setback. Kyle Stover under center. Again, a quick step, three-step drop, hangs it up in the air, looking for Albright, and the pass incomplete. Oh, oh they're going to throw a flag late, and at time, I think, in the game. Pheasants will line it up with this same set. Rolfs alone in the backfield. Stover looks to throw. Quick slide pass, and it's picked off, off the hands of the intended receiver, and taken away, I think, by Holzer over there. They'll return it back out. Excuse me, that's number 20, Danny Gallagher with the interception. There you go. And uh, Danny comes up with it. it. Goal here, keep the clock running. Let's get out of here with win number one. Zach Lundquist is going to hand it off to, uh, I think that's Dalton Cox. And 20. Redfield Dolan, again, has just been hurt by the, uh, the big plays and the, uh, the miscues tonight. Lundquist will again hand it off. This one will come inside. Here's a nice first down run still on the feet. 
is the ball carrier, and I think in yards if I'm uh, adding it up right, but a nice carry for Anthony Andera, his first carry of the night. Single wing ice formation. Lundquist takes his time getting under center. And here's the snap. The give again to the tailback. That's Andera. Spins free. Keeps his legs fighting. A good job. Anthony mm. fights for uh, two hard yards right there. The only thing I yard line. Single wing eye formation. Lundquist the snap. And here is the misdirection play inside. The give to Lane Holzer. Holzer will get down to about and counting. Lundquist will get up under center and uh, waits to see if that back judge will give him the count. And yep, now he is. So Lundquist now will Call out the play, and the pitch will go to Whoa. Dalton Cox, and he tries to hurdle the stack and gets... Well, now they do. And Cox looking at the uh, Good back judge, and a nice snap there. Here's a nice kick by Dalton. And it looks like the Pheasants are going to let that one roll, and it will go into the end zone for the automatic touchback. And in Redfield, ter Dolan territory in that first half, giving them the lead, and they've been able to work with it since. Stover under center, drops back to throw on first down, and Braden McNary steps in front of Albright and steals it away. It'll be another pick. And that was just a good hustle play there by McNary to uh, get there and time punch it, or if they're just going to be content to move it ahead, but keep that clock going, more importantly. Ooh, Here's the that's give. Nice hit. Yep, give to the fullback up front. With that special small town touch. To open an account or apply for a loan, just stop in or call 605-475-5500. Best of luck to the Redfield Golden Pheasants from Heartland State Bank in Redfield. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Who do we have at quarterback there? Can you tell? I'm uh, looking in, and uh, it looks like it's number 24, Braden Summers, who is in at QB. Single wing, I formation right, and here Good. is the give. And that goes to the <coughs> tailback. That was Zach Schaefbauer, I think, who uh, got the carry that time. Right here tonight, 37-20. Great 